today's athlete, Drew Carter, whatever his hand finds to do, he does it with all his might. I believe his family testifies to that. Father, mother, sister, siblings, that that verse can embrace what he does. And it's exciting because he gets to continue to do something that he mentioned earlier that he loves. There is no question and no doubt that Drew Carter loves Jesus Christ. But he also loves the game of baseball. And we're excited at TCPS that today Drew Carter is going to get to sign with ICC. Great coach over there and Rick Collier and the program that he's developed and continues to develop. Again, join me in congratulating Drew Carter on signing with ICC to play baseball. Say a brief prayer for this, and then I'm going to dismiss you guys back to class. I know you're eager to learn, and then we will uh, move forward with our festivities in here. Uh, let's pray together. God, we love you, and Lord, I know that this family and uh, TCPS joins them in recognizing that all good gifts are from you. Drew's talent, his ability is from you. And it's our prayer that he goes from TCPS to represent us, that there's a part of us that will be there at ICC with him. And as he plays this game, that he would represent you, that he would re represent TCPS, and all that he is and that he does, he gives back to you. Lord, we're counting on that. We pray for safety through this year and that you would be honored with this play of the game of baseball. We pray in the strong name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Right there. As, as common, guys, when we get this opportunity, at least allow a, a parent, if you got just a couple of minutes, Coach Carter, to just talk about, uh, Drew, what today means to you as a father and as a coach. You would put me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get choked up. Uh, never been a lot of <laughs> You know, uh, I was thinking this morning about when Drew was a little boy the first time I took him out of the yard and threw baseball with him. And uh, just thought about all his experiences in baseball. And uh, I thought about his first year playing coach pitch. We were living in Hatley at the time. And there were uh, there were two teams. And he wasn't good enough to make the, the all-star team, chosen out of the two teams at the end of that year. And I just, I just saw, even then, a, a determination to to get better, to work hard. And I saw that work ethic in, in, in his life. And the next year he came back and, and he made the all-star team and did great. And it, it was just, it was awesome seeing him achieve that. And then I thought about the first time he ever played travel baseball. I was telling someone earlier, uh, he was playing for a little team in Amory and the other kids had been playing on that team for a couple of years. And I remember taking him to his first practice. It was in the uh, Armory Gym, in the old National Guard Armory Gym. And I dropped him off. You know, I didn't know with travel ball, all the parents came, watched all the practices even. But uh, I, uh, I just dropped him off. And I, I went to pick him back up. And uh, he came out of the car and he started crying. And he said, I, I'm terrible, Daddy. I'm terrible. I'm, I'm, there's so much better than me. But again, I saw him. He didn't give up. And, and that's one thing that I, I, I believe that I, I'm, it, it's just been such a blessing is to watch Drew overcome obstacles uh, to get to where he is today. And I know God's got a great plan for his life. Uh, and I, I'm glad that, it, that baseball is a part of that. And uh, just so grateful to be his dad. So so thankful for the young man he is. And uh, just how he, he lives his life for Christ. And uh, he's a blessing to have as a son. And uh, he honors me with the way he lives his life. And uh, I'm just so proud of you, son. I'm so thankful for you. And I, I'm so so uh, appreciative that uh, you're getting to live your dream. Again, thank you, friends, family, whatever. You ready to put your name on that document? Let's do
Hey, let me shake your hand. But, uh, Congratulations. Your, your dad, I, I thought this was great. Your dad was touching on when you were younger and not making teams. It kind of showed that the termination can pay off. Just talk about signing. Yes, sir. I'm so excited to sign with ICC. Um, before, I just put so much pressure on where I'm going to go and going to ICC. Uh, it's a great program. I'm going to be able to work hard, just strengthen all my abilities there uh, under some great coaching and some great players. And, uh, it's just taking a lot of pressure off of me. And now this season, I can just worry about playing baseball and winning a state championship for TCPS. You bring a lot to the table. And, Coach, we were kind of talking about this earlier, about the mound and everything else. Just talk about your, your game a little bit, how you how you like to play. Uh, I'm, I'm mainly quiet. Uh, when it gets to a state championship and playoffs, or I get I get loud, I get fired up. But uh, mainly I'm focused, I'm quiet, and uh, – I go out there and I just try to do the best I can for everybody, for the team. Uh, just take care of my business and uh, first pitching, and then, but also when it comes to the play, I try to do my best too. This place you could have gone, you're staying close to home. I know that's a big plus. Yes, sir. It's 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 really important, especially considering that my little brother Bo has a has leukemia, and so being close to home, uh, my mom has to travel. As much as it is going to St. Jude every week, and uh, so in this case, she doesn't have to go very far to go see me play, and I can always go home and see Bo uh, a lot more than if I could if I was far away. Thanks for your time. Always big when you when you can see one of your guys go to the next level, and Drew's certainly going to make his mark at the next level. Yeah, we're excited for Drew. You know, we've we've known he's uh, had the potential to do that. Six three, two hundred twenty pounds. He's a prototypical athlete. Uh, you know, he's easy to promote. He's, he's the guy, he's got the 26 ACT, uh, you know, and he he's, uh, comes from a great family. And he's got a servant heart. He's ferocious on the on the ball field. Uh, I mean, there's nothing more you can ask from a coach's standpoint than, than a Drew Carter. And so uh, going to a program like ICC is where, you know, this is not the last signing you'll see for Drew. He will move on after ICC. And, and Rick and his program, they I feel like they're the ideal ones to, uh, to get him ready for that. Kind of helps you guys out too because he kind of touched on this. He's got this out of the way. He knows where he's going now. He can focus on on this season. That's right. You know, he's the first of potentially four or five signees for us this year, and that's that's always an issue when you when you go into the season. You want to know where their mind is. Are they focused on the game? And sometimes it's it's easy to fall into those selfish thoughts of you know what am I doing next year? Who wants me? And it can consume you. The athletes, it happens all the time. But uh, you see that with even in football, those guys they they want to just all the pressures on them, and so it's, it's a good way of taking that pressure off and allow them to just play the game. Coach, a, a great signing to pick up here today. A guy who, as his father talked about, just never seems to quit. Just talk about signing Drew Carter. Oh, we're excited about getting Drew. Uh, Drew's one of the top arms in the area. Uh, you know, he stays in the strike zone. He also can play third base. Uh, uh, very big pickup for us at Etiwamba Community College. It's a young program. He's been a big part of the success they've had so far. Oh yes, uh, he's big time. He, uh, you know, he's a big strong boy that, that throws a lot of strikes. Has uh, good velocity on his fastball. Works hard. Exceptional young man, great in the classroom. Uh, you know, that's that's the type of guys you want in your program to make it that successful. Comes from a good family too, as we know. Yes, great family. If you could also just talk about the the, the needs. You kind of touched on this, the needs that he uh, that he you know fulfills for you guys. Because I mean, obviously with a. In this program, you're changing guys out every couple of years. Yes, uh, we only get them two years, and any time a guy can go both ways, I allow guys to go both ways. Uh, uh, we're losing uh, three of our uh, starting rotation this year, and we expect him to come in and fill one of those voids. Uh, uh, and also, we're going to give him a shot there to play uh, third base.